Hi everyone, it's Tess Sleem here. And in my last video, I was talking about how my inner dancer, my inner being brought me to a place that I didn't even know that I wanted to go that would bring me into alignment and how that all happened. But I realized I missed a important step in the story. And it, I kind of was relieved at first that I missed it out because it would be a very vulnerable share. And I thought, okay, I'll just leave that. But it's been over a week and I'm still thinking about it. So I think now I do want to share it and hopefully it will be helpful to some of you guys. So I was describing how I was down on not being able to do like a simple online dancing class a couple of weeks ago. And then I went out to run some errands and was having trouble walking because the weakness in my legs and then I didn't know what to do and I was feeling very um, scared and was thinking, okay, if I can't even take a few more steps, I just need to go into a near, near place that I can, you know, sit in and relax and just figure out what I'm going to do next. And I ended up walking into this um, open mic night that turned out to be everything to bring me back into alignment and take out the fear and all of that and even getting my system to be dancing inside but the part that I missed out on was that from running my errands to getting to the open mic night there was a moment that made the switch for me like that made me go from okay, I just need to find a way home and, you know, this is scary and I might as well give up on things too. Maybe there's another possibility. And what that was, was that I was in Shoppers Drug Mart running some errands and <clears throat> I was taking the elevator in Shoppers, which is humbling to me because I like to take the stairs and stuff, but because of my legs, I was it was too hard and I remember like being in the elevator and kind of thinking like why is this happening like why can't I just take a few steps and run a few errands and get back to dance and um, little did I know that in a way I was kind of asking my inner dancer like for advice my inner being because when I, once I got out of the elevator to the top floor, a song came on and it was, it was Sean Desmond's Electric. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. <laughs> I'm sure you have. Um, and it's, the lyrics are, you're just mind blowing, hypnotizing, head down to your toes, weigh your hair hair is flowing down your back watch that body go you're electric 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 you're so electric 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 one day i'll just sing it um and i got all like shy and kind of like um and why would i react that way it's just the song coming on but i think there was a part of me that knew that Something was telling me this about me. Like here I was thinking I look clumsy, I look not together, I'm having trouble dancing, like I, I'm having trouble walking and I, I look awkward. And then this voice came out of nowhere um, telling me like, you look amazing you look electric, like your, your, what you feel about yourself right now is not actually the truth of how you feel. And why I reacted at first, like, <laughs> I was kind of embarrassed was because there was initial feeling of like, oh, this message is for me. And then I thought, who am I to say that? Like, why do I think that some being entity like energy is saying this about me like it's just a song that came on but I think deep down inside I knew that that was not the full truth and that by asking 
why is this happening to me? I was also connecting and speaking and having a conversation in my mind, in my energy with my inner dancer and my inner dancer was responding. I think the universe knows that I love music and I love artsy things like that. So responding to me with a song is very appropriate. It's really fitting. And I, I think that energy of, even though I felt like, oh my God, this is why would I even think this song has anything to do with me? And then, but then I had like an opening of like, what if, what if something, what if things are so aligned in my life right now? Or there's a part of my life that's so aligned that I can actually trigger that. Like I can actually manifest a, a response from the universe, from my inner being, from my inner dancer to answer my question. And that little bit of like, maybe what if there's a possibility? I believe that when I got back into the elevator and went downstairs, that stuck with me. <laughs> and I think that's what actually led me to have an energy of, yeah, I had a little bit of fear and feeling down as a part of my energy, but there was another part of my energy that just got um, shifted a little to being open to something else. And that allowed me to choose this place to go into that ended up being the place to bring me more in alignment and make that feeling of like you're electric, you're, you're energetic, like <clears throat> your energy is, um, can attract something more in line with what you want. That's what ended up getting me to this place that I actually had a great time with. And by the way, if any of you watched my last video, I was talking about how it led me to go to another event, Rock the Boat, and I was on my way to that event. That was amazing. So this video was about how your, how to tell what your inner being, your inner dancer is telling, is telling you what they're saying to you. Ask. The answer is ask. However you want to do the asking, like, it might be in your mind, like asking. It might be through writing, like in a journal. It might be talking to someone and saying, I don't know why this is happening. Or, or it might even be just speaking out, you know, in your, like being on your own and just speaking it out to the moon, the water, the whatever is your thing, like whatever is, um, whatever you feel connected to, to make that relationship of asking and being open to the possibility of receiving, even if you don't believe in this stuff, just being open to the possibility of receiving. And the great thing is that the receiving often comes in a way, in a form that is fitting for you. So for you, that might be a song. It might come in a form of a song. It might come in a form of a title on a book. It might come in the form of a video on YouTube, or it might be something like a card or something that someone says in passing. Like as you ask that question, something comes to you. I've been walking in my neighborhood and suddenly literally seen a little post-it sign on poles that answer something that I've been asking. Our inner being, our inner dancer has really creative ways of getting messages to us, but we need to be open to it and it really helps to ask. So how do you tell what your inner being, your inner dancer is wanting to say to you? Ask. Find your own creative or whatever resonates with you way of asking and be open to receiving and 
Thank you so much for listening. Maybe this is one of those um, answers to a question you might have been asking. Who knows? Thank you for listening.